paper and go. Okay, so Please, right now. Okay, you're I'm saying that this confrontation happened in May after a San Diego State student tried to get a refund from his landlord. He demanded his rent and deposit back after finding out the garage unit he had been renting for the past five months was unpermitted as a dwelling unit. There's no ventilation. You have a door and you have a window. You have to Josh Montalto admits he was naive when he put down a deposit for the unit at the landlord's office two blocks south of the SDSU campus. He signed a six-month lease at $1,200 a month without looking at the property first. The house was a dump. I can tell you that. It was a dump. For starters, the swimming pool pump was broken for weeks, according to Josh, and he claims the house had a roach infestation. There were a ton. We had more than 50 cockroaches. I can recall, more than 50. He remembers a sewage backup and power outages when it rained. Problems confirmed by Josh's roommate, a foreign exchange student who says he also put down a deposit sight unseen. Uh, at one point, I was not going to sign a lease uh, because um, uh, this room was not uh, looking habitable for me. It was very unfair, but uh, they threatened us to not give our deposit back. A couple months after moving in, Josh says he started coughing. He says the coughing got better when he left the house and worse when he returned. So hard to breathe, so you have to keep coughing. And it was not pleasant. It's every two or three minutes you hear this cough constantly at night and so you can't sleep. That's how bad it was. A short time later, a city inspector visited the property and told Josh that the garage unit he was living in was not permitted as a rental dwelling unit. And in fact, the landlord had been given notice in January to, quote, immediately cease using the garage as habitable space. They rented a unit that it was unpermitted, but they went ahead and rented anyhow. And that's when Josh's mother, Connie LaFuente, stepped in. Right away I was concerned and I spoke with him and I said, what do you feel we should do? And he said, Mom, no wonder I'm feeling sick, so I think I should move out. My we, son we, we is here. We are very willing to deal with you legally at any point. Leading to the confrontation at the landlord's office. So, the city inspector said to my son, mm. you should not be in this room because it's not permitted. Secretly recorded, by Josh's mom with her cell phone. We've already spent $30,000 to apply for a permit. The landlord, Bill Salome, and his wife, Lana, claimed a permit is pending for the garage. So your room essentially is just about legit at this point. It's about, but it's yeah. not legit right now. He also denied responsibility for any of Josh's health problems, and he was not at all happy when he found out he was being videotaped. We'll be taking legal action. We're going to sue you. Oh, yeah. for, for we are too. We are too. We're not scared of them, and we are trying to expose them so they can stop and they can be responsible landlords, so they can provide a safe space for all students. Now, I spoke on the phone to the wife, Lana Camo, and I told her I wanted to interview both her and her husband on camera, but they did not respond to that request. Their side of the story is that the tenant, Josh, held a huge party on the property and also damaged the plumbing, so they do not intend to refund him any money. At San Diego State, David Gottfordson, CBS 8.